Hi everyone! Today I have a very quick and easy tutorial um, to share with everyone. And so this is basically going to be how to make your own high flow acrylic inks. Uh, a couple of weeks back I bought these three golden high flow acrylic inks and they have been my favorite thing so far to use and these are kind of pricey and you can see I actually had a little accident with this purple one it's all messed up but um, here in Canada the price range for these uh, golden acrylic high flow acrylics are from $5.99 up until $9.49 um, it depends on the series and I remember this one here was $8.99 and the this one was $5.99 so it can get kind of pricey if you want to have all the colors like I do. So I decided to do some research and you can actually make your own um, high flow acrylics. All you need is to get the golden airbrush medium. And this is what basically makes any paint turn into a high flow acrylic paint. So um, I already started off, I made one here with black. And I just got these little empty bottles from my local dollar store. They are kind of flimsy, but I just wanted to try them out. And um, so far they seem to be okay. But if I notice that the cap starts to dry out, I'm going to invest in a better closing applicator bottle. But for now, this is what I got. They were a dollar for three. And so I already made the black one. And um, I'm going to show you at the end the flow of this one compared to the basics of Liquitex paint. This one is a little heavier than the black paint that I use. This is a lot more liquidy. So I didn't have to add um, all that much extra of golden. But for this one, it's a little thicker, so I think I'm gonna have to add a little bit more. Um, but anyway, let me just get started. I got this empty bottle here. So to create your high flow acrylic inks, you're going to need a one to one ratio of each um, medium. So, so one equal parts paint and one equal parts golden airbrush medium. So um, I'm going to start with the paint so I can see how it goes. Now I'm just like literally just eyeballing this and adding some paint in. And I'll add some more. All right, so now it's time to apply the golden airbrush medium. And I'm going to my, mark a little spot on the bottle just so I can see how much I should add that makes it equal parts. So I'm thinking about over here. That looks about equal. So I'm going to just go right in and apply up until I see that line. And a little bit over, yeah, just a little bit more over. There we go. And now with a mixing stick, you can even shake it up, but I'm just going to mix it like this for now. Yeah, so this paint is, as I predicted, a little thicker, so I'm going to have to add a bit more of medium. So let me just add some more medium. And this time I'm going to shake it up. Make sure it's properly closed and give it a shake. And I'm also going to cut the tip of the cap off. Now I'm going to add a little bit more just because it's not as liquidy as I want it to be. So let me just add some more. So this is, you just go along with it and I started as you can see equal parts but then I added a little bit more just so that I can make it more flow. Uh, to make it flow a little bit better. So I'm going to start off by showing you how fluid the golden acrylic inks really are. So, um, so I can do a comparison. So here we go. I'm just going to apply some. And I always usually add some water to make it flow a little bit better. See, let me just add a little bit more. See, it's dripping really well with the water. And if I add a little bit more water, it'll drip faster. So now let's see how the acrylic ones I just made work. Here is a sample of what I did earlier uh, when I practiced making the black one. You can see that the drippage is really nice once I apply the water. And it's the same thing with the high flow golden ones. As soon as you apply water, it runs really nicely. Obviously, it's not the same consistency. The golden is a little bit better because the paints I'm using are um, of a cheaper quality. 
If I were to use actual liquid acrylics from Golden, uh, I, I have a feeling that the consistency will be a little bit better and similar to this one. But because my paints are really just um, craft paints and some from Liquitex, the consistency of the paints are not the same as the Golden paints. So if you guys have Golden paints and you want to try this out, I have a feeling that the Golden will work a little bit better, but it's still good. So I'm going to show you a sample of the blue one we just made. Like I said, the paint was a little bit thicker and I wanted it to be a lot more liquidy and watery and runny. So I had to add more than one to one part of this. So I would say one part paint and then maybe one and a half, maybe even up to two parts of the um, airbrush medium. So now I'm just going to try this out. Try this out. Yeah, that is a lot better. You see how it dripped right away? Now by adding some water. So it's dripping, but it's still a little thick. And you can see that by um, just rubbing it in, you can see that the, the paint is still thick. So I mean, it's not exactly as watery, as, as runny as this one, but it's still good close enough. So you can see once I added the golden one, it's almost the same consistency, it doesn't drip as much. But once you add the water, there you go. Look at that lovely drippage. But you can see it's running a little bit more than the blue one and a lot quicker. So let me try to spray it one more time with water. There you go. It's running a bit more. So maybe you just have to apply more water. Let's try the black on this edge over here and compare. Okay, so this part still a little is already a little wet, but that's okay. Let's apply the black. See, it already started running a bit more with the water already on the sheet. And let's see. Yeah, so this is running really well. So you can play around with the um, ratios of each of the paints. Okay? Um, this can go a long way. You, I got a small bottle. It was $9.99. And I can mix up a lot of different colors with this bottle. And so I think it was really worth the money. And I can make my own now without having to spend an arm and a leg on the golden ones. I still love them and I'm probably going to maybe buy um, in the future, but for now I'm going to use my own mixes with my own paints. And again, if you have a higher, uh, better quality paints like golden paints, I feel like this would work perfectly because you're using the golden paint with the golden uh, airbrush medium, so it's the same company. I think it would work a lot better than using, let's say, the Liquitex um, paint like I did which again is heavier and also the cheap craft paint that I have this was a lot more watery than this one so um, I didn't have to add as much of the golden medium but um, again it all depends on what paints you have and what you want to use so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial you can see that it's a lot of fun and I can't wait to play with my own paints and yeah so thanks for watching if you have any questions please let me know if you have any requests let me know and so I hope you guys enjoy, and if you do decide to make your own, let me know, and I would love to see the colors you use, and the paints you use, and how it all worked out for you. So thanks so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye!